Hey there, and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we'll walk you through three ways to harness Airtable's power as a customer relationship management tool. Whether you prefer starting with a template, building from scratch, or supercharging with software, we've got you covered. So the easiest way to dive into Airtable CRM is by utilizing pre-made templates. Here's how. You can sign into your Airtable account, then go to create a base on the bottom left here to start fresh, or you can alternatively select the sales CRM template, which is absolutely an option. So click right here and then we can type CRM and there's this sales CRM template that you have the option to choose from. And then from here, we can press try this template and simply have a great setup with all the different tables that you'll need inside of the space. Some things are in here like opportunities, interactions, accounts, and contacts. All these will work very well for you. Now, there are some pros and cons of templates. While templates offer do offer a quick solution, they come with a learning curve, lack of customization for specific use cases, and may need better views and reports. Now, when it comes to a tailored CRM experience, we can start from scratch by doing the same thing where we create a base, and then from here, you can simply click off and build tables for each CRM area. So we can build tables for, we can build tables for contacts and then add another table, blank one called opportunities. We can do another one called customers. So for the context table, the properties that we can put within here could be called the name of the person. So the contact name, then some other properties that we can put here are going to be the email and we can actually put this as an email. All right, then from there, we can have this status property. And since it's not necessarily a task related one, we can do something like active and inactive and add more like a text field for company name. All right, then from there, we also can do is put another one called opportunity. And this is actually gonna be a linked record to that opportunities field. I'm just gonna call this opportunities. All right. Then next, what we can do for the other tables would be to include in the opportunity section, you can see we already have contacts here. So what else we could do is keep a status field and then moving forward, we can clear out these other ones. I actually don't mind keeping a notes field here, but we also can put things like a select field and let's do priority. So we can do high, medium, and low priority. And then once that is created, some other options that we do have here would be things like a date property where we can call it deadline. And then on top of that, we also can put a numbered field that we're gonna call potential value. I'm gonna just put number right there. And let's make it so that it is for, actually not a number field, let's do uh, currency. There we go, so let's do that, and boom. Now next we have a customers table. This one is going to have uh, some other relations. This one's gonna have some other related linked fields. So let's link this back to the contacts, and then I'm gonna create this field. And what I'm gonna do is actually grab the company name for a lookup field, so that I can get the company name as well. I'm going to get the value here, and I'm gonna do a currency as well and keep a notes and assignee and add any other custom fields that you want. And also for the opportunities one, you can keep an assignee. I actually think that that would be, that'd be fair. Uh, so let's do a user one with assignee as well. So with all this setup, you pretty much have exactly what you need for a basic CRM, but you can personalize fields to fit your business. So familiarizing your team with the new CRM setup is really important and I recommend you do that next, but let's talk about some of the pros and cons of starting from scratch. Building from scratch provides a tailored solution, but customization requires time. I build that out pretty quickly, but there's a lot more that you can do with it. The initial setup might be basic here, but it could take a lot more work. You can actually elevate your Airtable CRM though with software's capabilities. Software is a way for you to turn your spreadsheets and databases in backend applications into client portals, internal tools, and obviously, like we're talking about in this video, CRMs without any code required. You can go to software.io today to try it out for free. We have a myriad of different templates to choose from, including a sales CRM that we're gonna dive into. By pressing new application and typing out sales CRM, we can click on this and preview the 
application and try this out for free. For example, if you go into this accounts page, you'll see that it showcases all the different accounts that you have inside of your Airtable base. And there are many other pages like the deals page, which also show the deals inside of this. And you'll see that we have a couple different views here, one like my deals and one like all deals showcasing the difference between what is just for me and what other people on the team are interacting with. For example, if we press preview here, We'll be able to see that difference. So let's go into the manager view right here. Let's see if we go to deals. I can't see all deals because it's just the baseline view. However, if I go back to the actual account here, you'll notice that for that filter, it's for the owner email is, and then like me for the email, essentially what is the logged in email. And we can set this up for, and then it doesn't show if the data is empty. That's an option that you can have. So for empty state, basically if there's nothing there, it won't show. You'll see that for the accounts here that we actually have a great list view. And if you wanted to, you could add some extra accents to this or change the way that we looked at it. For example, you'll notice there is the fact that when we click on it, we see the account details. So let's take a look at what that is like. So let's click on the inside of Wolf Motors and check this out. Awesome. So we see the account contacts and deals. Um, what we can do as well inside of this is go to something like the account details page and maybe make some changes as to what we have here, whether it be just an accent at the top or just a static view in general, even if it's just a simple text to add some context and write something up like account info and just do a quick write up of this, this section below gives an overview of the various components of the account from context to deals. And you could add various other things as well, not only in this page, but in other pages. I personally like the interactions page where we can see all of the different documented interactions between the different companies and people. So we can keep track of how the conversations have gone along in the CRM process. Once again, just taking a look at the preview here, you can see that I can click on this. You can open and close the information on those different interactions. It's pretty cool. And you can filter it by the different types right here on the side. And you can search to find different ones within here as well. Let's press legal here, and you'll notice that they all change to legal. Pretty cool filter functionality as well. Whether you're a template enthusiast, a CRM architect from scratch, or a software super user, Airtable empowers you to manage relationships effectively. Choose the method that suits your needs most today. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more insights into software. Share this video with anyone looking to elevate their data presentation game. And as always, drop your questions and thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.